Personal note day one. Last night I had a bad dream. Everyone was dead but me. When I arrived, the air was thick with the smell of sulfur and rotting bodies. Soldiers lay silent in death. All alone, my mind was racing. Stay alive, stay hidden. Remember your orders, deliver the package, don't become another victim of this madness. And above all else, find out what's causing it. My company had been brutally crushed, a whole train full of men lost. A few escaped, but only to delay death. We all knew something was killing our men in the trenches, an unknown virus erupting into a plague. And I had the cure. Now I had to find the first squad, the lost company, because they would know how it all began. Are you still breathing, soldier? Hold on, I'll get you out of there. Anyone with you? Damn, not anymore. I can't help your buddy. Uh, Shaisa, my leg. And we almost made it. This creature came flying at us. Well, your friend wasn't so lucky. But glad you made it. By the look of your plane, seems your guardian angel had a busy night. There's a house close by. I'll get you there. Take a look at your wounds. Wait! You're a damned Englishman! No, no, Fritz. I'm a damn American. Lieutenant George Patton's the name. Don't be so choosy about who's saving your life, soldier. I don't thank my enemies. Thanks are for barmaids and bellboys to save your breath. Point is, our little war's become irrelevant. Now move! They'll come at us as soon as it's dark. Get up! Get up! They're here! They're all over us! Door's blocked, okay? There's a gun on the table! tonight, and the barricade's down. The hill there's a monk. Should find the rest of my... There. And with any luck, my sweet Renault tank. Ah, that little baby will break your heart. I doubt it. Let's move.
I'll guard this entrance. Lock the other end, then get yourself back here. I don't take orders from you, Lieutenant. But I happen to agree with your plan. I'm honored. Now move it! I'm on my own now. Put your gun down. I'm not gonna hurt you. We're all that's left of our regiment. We tried to break into the monastery. They've got some French tanks there, see? About the only things that'll damage these bloody monsters, whatever they are. The monastery? That's where I'm going. Oh, are you? Some chance. The cavern's the only way through, and that's full of creatures like you've never seen. Horrific. They'll tear you to pieces. And plenty more of these bog-eyed freaks before you even get there. You've not got a hope in hell. You can rot here forever if you like. I'm going on. You're bloody mad, you know that? I have a mission and my duty. Is that a British concept? I'll show you what a Scotsman can do, pal. Yeah. And I'll get even with those flesh-dripping bastards while I'm at it. We'll help clear your way to the cavern. But if you want to go inside, be those monsters dinner, <laughs> that's your lookout.
said, you're on your own now, Jerry. Good luck in there. You're going to need it. something to me. Have I caught the disease? No, this is no disease. This is the turn of the tide. We feel the seed of change you carry with you. You are not like the others. Show me you are worthy. Show me. I thought you were dead. I could say the same about you, Lieutenant. How did you make it through? <laughs> Takes more than a bunch of meat-faced loons and a few flames to stop one of the tank corps. Even without my beautiful Renault. So, what now? You wanted to get to Fort Stern, am I right? If I can get there, I may be able to bring this horror to an end. Well, I'll drink to that, pal. It's a long way. But if we can get my tank rolling... I'll get you there in one piece. Oh, American technology has let you down, Lieutenant? My little baby's French, and she's lost her heartbeat. You'd call that a carburetor. We can fix her up, but it means taking our chances in the monastery. I've never been there, but I have a bad feeling about this monastery. And so you should. It's being used as a lazaret. Quarantine, you know? But it's one hospital where you wouldn't want the nurses looking after you. Why not? We stopped there last night to repair the carburetor. It was late, looked abandoned. 
Collins took the gear inside to get some light, and we never saw him or the carburetor again. Instead, we had to fight off these damned crazy nurses. More like animals. Looked like they got rabies or something. Anyway, we oh. Oh, I think we have company. Let's go. Get inside the main chapel and try to unlock the side door to the monastery. Walker had locked it with a key, but some butcher-like fat bastard cut him in half with a meat cleaver. And God knows where he is now. So watch your back. I'll stay here and cover you from all the freaks coming this way. And don't mess around with the sisters if you meet any. They're faster than the rotten bastards we've seen so far. And not much prettier.
Locked. Fatu had it to break open. So, where's that key? Let's head for the monastery. 